In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. So these handy dandy clips are what hold in the sink to the countertop. And the screws that Ikea supplied with them were not long enough for how thick our countertop is. So I went and I bought longer screws. I had to go to Ace Hardware uh, to fit the thickness in here. And we bought, I bought one and a half inch screws. I think these are like one inch or one and a quarter. And that did the trick. So we just needed longer screws to get this to work. And now we're gonna install them. Lights. Oh. Look at that pretty countertop. Up. Some sticky stuff. Well, I slid the faucet lines down through the hole. And now I have the fun work of going underneath and doing a couple things. Hi, guys. Hi. I am laying underneath the sink. Except the sink is not where it's supposed to be. What we realized is it was way too small working space <laughs> to attach the um, faucet. So I'm trying to attach the faucet right now while it's pulled out and then I'll slide it in. And then these shark bite are amazing because I just get the PEX tubing and I push really and it'll slide right on. And that's all I want to do. I don't want to have to twist anything. I don't want to have to thread plumber's putty around anything. I want to just be able to slide that on and then be underneath here trying to find places where I can screw this countertop into the existing frame for it. So I'm doing all this now while Lindsay is holding the countertop. Oops! <laughs> She's a funny kid. She knows I'm worth more dead than alive right now. Yeah, I do. I wouldn't die from this. It would just be excruciatingly painful. <laughs> Thanks. So what I've got left is this counterweight. I got to put it on this, which is our actual faucet. So what it's going to do is it'll pull down because gravity lets it pull down. 
and uh, that'll retract the faucet. And then when we use the faucet, we have to physically pull against it. You've probably used a faucet like this. So anyway, this is how it works. It's just this little counterweight underneath there. So I'm gonna go and do that and try not to drop it on my head because it does weigh about five pounds and that would suck. Got the sink all hooked up. All the um, faucet hoses are all in line and connected. God willing, there's no leaks. Last thing we're gonna do before we put water in the tank and figure out if this all works without leaks, is put our drain in. Drain is pretty simple. Wasn't as simple the first time we got it. Had to play around with it, but so this is the drain. It's gonna go in like this, but we're gonna put a seal of plumber's putty on the bottom so it squishes in and the plumber's putty acts like butyl tape. It creates a really nice solid seal and that's gonna be important because you don't want water dripping down the drain outside of the drain. On the underside, this will lock in underneath the sink and then we twist it down and tighten it until it's firmly in place. And then of course, this part will feed into the drain that will then feed into the P-trap and out to the gray tank. gray tank. And so that is the plan. That is how it's supposed to work. Plumber's putty is like uh, Play-Doh. It's really malleable. I'm gonna make this little snake in the grass. This is probably too thick, but I'd rather have it too thick than too thin. And if it squeezes out like all over the place, then maybe we'll try again. <laughs> Okay, so it's like this. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be... It's too much. Too, too <laughs> it's much. way too much. <laughs> way too much. Mm. All right, so. Just takes them off. So I'm gonna make a new snake in the grass. <laughs> Roll it into a ball. Make the snake, make the snake. I'm 39 years old and I'm singing like a seven year old. <laughs> The saga will continue. We'll check in with you in just a minute as I continue to sing, make the snake. So this part is going to now sit. in there, oh yeah, there's quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. We'll squeeze it down and then we'll just run our finger and beat it up. Again, I'd rather have too much. You take a razor and cut it off? Yeah. Okay. See, like, I don't see it squishing out here, and I'd rather that it squish out everywhere. But I know we put a lot in. Mm -hmm. There it is. All right, so that's a nice tight seal. And then I go underneath with these. Mm -hmm. And with this, oh, my back. Oh, my back. Oh, my back, 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 back. It's dark. It's on there. It's a little hard finding the get it on straight. It took me a few tries. I just did it without looking. <laughs> it looks a little crooked to me, but... It won't go on. It's okay. The plumber's putty came through. But I should be fine, right? because we had the leak and I drained all the water out. So I'm gonna go put in enough water that we can turn the water pump on. And again, the toilet is capped. We don't have a toilet in there, but the bathroom sink is hooked up and this sink is hooked up. So, and the shower is hooked up. So that means 
there should be full pressure. We should be able to fully pressurize. If we have a leak somewhere, we're going to know it, and that's going to suck. But it's better to know it now than to mm -hmm. be on the road in a nice, fun, happy place and have a, an issue. Actually, do you want to go and we can set the sink in the bathroom? And then we can run the water through that, that drain as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because right now we can't. Okay. So we'll yeah, go. let's get it done. Let's get it all we'll, done. We'll go set the sink. We got it all set up. It's just got to be tightened down. We got to put some kind of seal in. I don't know if we use plumber's putty in there or what. But um, we got to go seal the drain in the bathroom. And at that point, we can run all the water. We can run water in the shower and actually have it go down the drain. We can run water in the bathroom sink and in the kitchen sink and have it go down their respective drains. Should all end up in the gray tank. And then we can dump the gray tank out in a public park so that kids will like go play soccer and they'll be slipping and sliding in duty water. <laughs> Not duty water. Yeah, gray tanks gray are tank nasty. Water. I think they're, no, they're not worse than The RV black mechanic tank, we had at one point said gray gross. tanks are, are worse than black tanks. I don't know. It's pretty bad when food just sits there to rot. But uh, and anyway, that's where we are right now. We're not, we wouldn't dump our gray tanks in a public field. We would just do it out in a... Um, I don't know, parking lot like Walmart or something like Stop. that. You don't do that either. Because <laughs> if you do, the rest of us can't camp at Walmart. Don't do that. Don't be that guy or that girl or that uh, non-identified person, whatever, that dumps their tank in a Walmart parking lot or Lowe's or Home Depot or anywhere. We just put water in our water tanks and are in our water tank. <laughs> And now we are, we are going to test our plumbing. We're going to test the bathroom sink and faucet, the kitchen sink and faucet. We're going to turn the shower on too. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do, and we'll it do the shower too. I know the shower. So works, we actually. got the water in, and now here is the defining moment. So we'll make sure everything's dry. Mhm. Mm so I'm drying everything out from when we installed, and that way, if there is any water at all that's not supposed to be there so I feel pretty good that this is dry so here we go look at that water pressure beautiful slowly draining no Eddie Everest? She's staying put. She's just whispering. Stay. <coughs> Stay. I don't I don't feel any water. No, we're good. That's great. So It's we know, funny. We know the faucet ones are good because they didn't leak when we turned the pump on. Right? So we just gotta test the drains and It's funny that we're excited. <laughs> that things go the way they're supposed to like oh look at that it actually works because <laughs> we're not used to things actually working well and this is also our very first plumbing job we've never done plumbing before so no. <laughs> it's all dry up there yeah all right and it's draining slow but well that's because that's... the t the drain is so tight oh well you just well, Whatever I can't open it there. up too much because then the, yeah. I think, I think it's good. Oh, that will test the, um, the putty. Yeah. Shouldn't be draining at all. Yeah. Doesn't Sweet. sound like it's draining at all. And then there it goes. Freedom. Look at that. Yay. So I'm I'm pretty well content with this one being being good. How are you? I'm good. Alright, so now let's do the scarier one. <laughs> the kitchen. Okay, we put a little towel here. Because <laughs> of our electrical. Because the electrical stuff, which is interesting if we start a fire on the towel. But the pipes aren't leaking. The, you know, the faucet, the water. Yeah, so there's pressure on it now. 
Very Nothing's good. leaking. So that, that tells me we should be good. But why don't you go ahead and fire up your faucet? <gasps> Yay! Okay, I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna set this right here. Okay, don't do too much just in case. Oh, I'm so seems excited! To, seems to be draining fine. No sign of a leak or a drip from there. Of water from here. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing here. I'm not content with leaving a towel down here, but we want to come up with something to catch any possible water that might drip. So we're gonna put some kind of a tray in here, which is not something that was originally planned. Stinking, stinking, stinking manufacturers. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? They could have just moved it over into this cabinet and had the trash thing under, like everybody has a sink compartment that's got the trash underneath mm -hmm. there. Stinking, stinking people. All right. Well, on that note, we're pretty content with this. Yeah. I got the I'm stopper. Happy. You wanna, let's stop it up. I'm happy. Ooh, I like the faucet. Change the spray. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> nice, huh? Everything seems to be I don't know if that's their friend or if that's someone else. All right. So we left our water pump on and it's been on for about 20 minutes and it wasn't intentional. We just kind of forgot after telling you that we always turn it off. Um, the male lady came and the dogs got excited. We went out there. I am pretty happy today. We're just short of toilet, but uh, I do know that the, the shower works. I tested that last time. It was really just this sink. I tested the outside shower as well. So it was really this sink and making sure there were no leaks with us actually installing it and the bathroom sink. And I am pretty, I'm pretty pleased right now. I'm what do you mean? I'm happy. Happy? Yep. Let's get the oven in. <laughs> well, there's some things that have to happen uh, now. I got to go underneath here and I'm not going to screw it in in as many places as it, it was screwed in before. I think we should be able to get in here relatively well and access this from this side. But this is our battery switch that I moved over here. So it's on the inside, it's out of the way, so we shouldn't hit it on accident. And then our whole distribution center is right here. And then all those wires back there about to get covered up again. On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and crawl underneath here and start to drill some holes and start to set some screws. Cause I think this thing's not moving anytime soon, right, Lindsay? No, it's not moving. Boss lady, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. What are you doing? Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Oh, I have a fork. Well, good news is I was able to get the screws from underneath. So this is anchored in. That's great news. The bad news was when I was putting my head down underneath here, I put it in a puddle of water. <laughs> good news about that puddle of water is it was not over our power box. It was in our empty space here. And the good news is 
it's something to do with this PVC plumbing stuff. So I think what happened was a gasket was flipped around. There's a little upside down gasket that I thought I put in right. I'm hoping. So Lindsay's gonna turn the water on, drain some water down the drain, and I'm gonna keep an eye on this, so go for it. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, I gotta unplug this, right? Sure. Okay. And you can fill it up a bit and then unplug it. Okay. I definitely see a leak. Okay. No, okay. No, okay. Oh, took from the top one, didn't it? Yeah, it is. It's from that one that I tried sanding. Yeah. We may have to get a different piece. <sighs> In the meantime, you are going to yep. seal that. Yep, and I'm going to do this one again. The top? Yeah, it needs it. Even though the sink's in there? Yeah, I'm going to go around it. Okay. Well, I'm going to put a board across there to help bring those together. Okay. And I'll just go ahead and zip this into place. There's no reason to take this out anymore, right? No. So I'll get it set in place where we're happy with it. And then when you get it all sealed, yep. we can slide the stove in. Stove in. Put the propane um, back it up. Quit 